go back to that view. Uh, and here you can see now we've got an add to cart button down the bottom and the price showing down the bottom as well. And we can add the block. We need to add the block for the sh uh, shopping cart. So when users add stuff to their shopping cart, the block will show up in the uh, upper right hand side. Um, save that. And now you can see we've got one item in our shopping cart because we clicked that. <coughs> Add a cart. So many buttons, options. Uh, yeah, so Acquia Prosper is using this, uh, is using Skinner uh, to allow us to sort of choose the look of that, um, of that block. And so we sort of uh, change it a little bit there and save. All right, now we add to cart, and the block will show up. We'll get a little bit fancier. And here we go. I mean, we've got the ability to add stuff to our cart. Uh, we can uh, buy a lot of books, go to the book page, uh, click add to cart there. We can hit the checkout button. We got a store. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I've got one more, uh, one more uh, little little video that actually kind of uh, does a little bit of theming stuff to to get it. Maybe I'll just show that, and I can take a couple of quick questions. If Questions. So this is gonna. We're gonna go in and basically rearrange the actual display of, of this node, uh, this uh, the book page, so that the uh, um, book floats up and up and to the right. Does anybody have any questions? Jeff. Yes. While you're working here on theming, uh, you mentioned the ability to let people switch things. Yep. That's very 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 important for accessibility. People should use that more, and you know. Have a theme that looks the way you want it to look, and then at least one that's a high contrast theme. It might be very plain, but people who can't see shape. You don't think that uh, CSS style switching would, would be a better solution for that? Uh, it might be. It might be. But, but just the concept of different appearances of the site and a button where people can change the appearance on the fly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the sort of web standards philosophy, you know, is to do a lot of that stuff through through style switching. Um, and you can set up alternate style sheets in, in a single theme that do that. Uh, uh, but but that is a good use case. And, and it would be nice to have, you know, saved with your profile and uh, stuff like that. And you could certainly do more with it. And, and as I said, I mean, a similar kinds of thing is the, is the mobile theme, you know, and, and, stuff, and stuff like that, where you might actually have a module that, that switches the theme for people. Uh, and in, in that case, uh, accessibility, you might want to have the theme switch be a you know, button on the home page rather than having the user navigate into their user page to switch that setting. But yeah. Exactly, the button on everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you know why recovery.gov got changed from Drupal? Uh, I don't. Um, I know that there's a lot. Of, well, there's a lot of politics, um, but you know these these things just just happen. I, I my feeling is that they set it up quickly uh, and sort of temporarily in Drupal as an experiment, uh, and then someone came in with a big government contract. Uh, that's exactly what it is. The contract changed, and that's the peril of working with the government. Yeah. Um, when you have to go with the low bid, the next time you relate the contract. Maybe you won't be able to justify the content management system you want. Yeah, and Drupal's, I think, getting mature enough as a platform that we're starting to see some sites that were a big win move away from Drupal for various reasons. And it's hard not to take that a little bit personally as a community. Uh, but uh, but these things happen. It's just a lot of times the new boss comes in and he's got some cousin that works for Vignette or something. <laughs> we're done. We're done. Ben Finkley, everyone.
All right, so very, very quickly, the next session starts in about five minutes, um, but I have uh, a question that's going to require a little bit of